Hi guys, I'm really excited to introduce you to one of the easiest and coolest ways to develop PHP on the cloud with Zen Server 8 on AWS. My name is Daniel and what I'm going to show you is how to get up and running with Zen Server 8 and Z-Ray on AWS in just a few clicks. To top it all, I'm also going to demonstrate some of the new features we've added including a super cool way of starting the Zen Server instance with a ready-made deployed WordPress app. So what's Zen Server? Zen Server is an integrated application platform for web and mobile PHP apps, which comes with an advanced PHP stack, first-in-class development and debugging tools, application and server monitoring capabilities, and deployment features. And Z-Ray is an innovative new technology that provides developers with deep insight into all the PHP elements constructing the page. It's basically a toolbar that provides live and detailed info on SQL queries, functions, errors and warnings, and plenty more. No code changes needed, just open your app in a browser. So let's get this show on the road. What you're looking at now is Amazon's Web Services Marketplace, which I've already signed into with my Amazon account. I'm going to search for Zen Server using this search box at the top of the page. What we get is a list of all the available Zen Server AMIs, including versions 6.3, 7, and the latest version, Zen Server 8. I'm going to go for the Zen Server 8 Developer Edition on Debian with PHP 5.6. Okay, so we now get an overview of the AMI we selected. You've got some general info about the product, some support details, useful resources you can check out, and the pricing details. I'm clicking continue, and we now get to configure the AMI's launching configurations. Notice that by default, the one-click launch tab is selected. This is the simplest way to get your Zen Server instance up and running. And after you've finished to tweak the AMI launch configurations, all you have to do is click this launch with one-click button and your Zen Server instance is launched. But for this video, I'm going to select the Manual Launch tab. Next, I'm going to select one of the AMIs from this list below and click Launch with EC2 Console. The EC2 Console is opened and we now start our manual launching process for the Zen Server AMI. First, we're going to select the Instance Type. On the next page, you can configure the instance to suit your requirements. One of the coolest new features is the ability to add user data in the launching process. User data includes instructions for the instance to be processed during the launching process. For example, I can define the admin user password for accessing the Zen Server UI. Or, I can get my Zen Server instance up and running with a deployed application from GitHub. All I have to do is supply the repository's URL and the web root directory. In this example, I'm going to set up my Zen Server instance with a deployed WordPress application. The JSON code here is specifying all the information we need to set up our WordPress app, including the URL of the publicly available WordPress Zend application package, or ZPK, database and WordPress credentials, and the WordPress site URL. Please note that I'm using an Amazon RDS that I've already set up. Great. Continuing on, you can configure the storage device settings. I'm just going to click Next. I'm going to enter a tag for the instance, just so I can identify it easier later on. Next, I'm going to configure the security group. I'm going to use an existing default group. Clicking Review and Launch, I get a summary of the instance I'm about to launch. And all I need to do here is click Launch. I'm asked to select an existing key pair for accessing the instance in a secure way, which I'll do. Select the checkbox at the bottom and click Launch Instances. OK, our instance is being deployed. Clicking View Instances, 
I get a list of all my running instances. We can see that our Zen server instance is in the process of being initialized. And after a few minutes, the instance is ready. To access the Zen server UI, I'm going to copy the public IP from the description of the AMI below, paste it in my browser, and add the port number the Zen server UI uses. And we get the Zen server login page. Remember the user data we added before? I'm going to enter the password we specified to log into Zen server. Great, so we've launched our AMI and we've accessed the Zen server UI. Now let's check out our WordPress application on the apps page. And there's our WordPress application. Before you click the URL to open it, make sure to set up a WordPress host rule in your operating system's host file. And there you go. Now, to develop with Zray, we're going to have to enable it first. To do this, in the Zen Server UI, I'm going to go to the Zray page, select Enabled mode, and then save and restart Zen Server. Refreshing our application, we get Zray at the bottom of the page. Notice this neat AWS icon? This is another cool feature we've added to the Zen Server instance. Zray in Zen Server 8 supports extra extensions. So for example, this WordPress app has specific WordPress information such as hooks and crones. Zen Server on AWS has its own extension with information on the Amazon instance. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed the show. For more information on the features we've added to the Zen Server AMIs on Amazon, check out the Zen blog. Thanks for watching.